Hi, in this video we will learn about linear equations in one variable. Let us understand what a linear expression and linear equations are. A linear expression is a combination of numbers, variables and operators, but it does not have an equal sign. It also has the highest power of the variable as 1. Some of the examples of linear expressions are 5x, 8y minus 7, 3 upon 2, z minus 1, plus 7, right? So these are the linear expressions because each variable has a power of 1. In 5x, x is the variable and it has a power of 1, right? x has power of 1. In the second example, 8y minus 7, y is the variable and it has a power of 1, right? In the third example, 3 upon 2, z minus 1, plus 7, the variable z or z has a power of 1. So, all these are called as linear expressions, right? If the power of variable is more than 1, say for example, x square or y square or z cube, then these are not linear, right? Because all the variables x, y and z have powers more than 1. So, when we build equations, we usually use linear expressions with only one variable, right? Okay, let us understand an equation. Equation or an algebraic equation has an equality sign and show that the left side and the right side are equal, like a balance scale. It includes LHS or left hand side, the expression before the equal sign, right? and RHS that is right hand side, this is the expression after the equal sign, ok. Here are a few examples of equations, 4x is equal to 24, 5y minus 2 is equal to 8 and 3x minus 5 is equal to 4. In the first equation, 4x is the left hand side or LHS and 24 is the right hand side or RHS, right. In the second equation, 5y minus 2 is LHS and 8 is RHS. Same with third equation, 3x minus 5 is LHS and 4 is RHS. Ok, now let us learn how to solve equations with the variable on one side. For now, let us focus on equations with linear expressions in one variable only. So, we are going to solve equations where the variable appears on one side. Let us see how we do it. Think of the equation as a balance, right? Perform the same operation on both the sides like addition, subtraction, multiplication or division to maintain balance, right? And after a few logical steps, you will isolate the variable and get the solution, okay? Let us see a few examples. So, in this example, 3x plus 4 is equal to 19. For the first step, we want to keep variable on one side and numbers on the other, right? In the expression on the left hand side, there is a constant that is 4, right? With 3x, okay? Let us remove the number 4 from left hand side. So, I have to remove number 4 from left hand side. So, to isolate the variable, we subtract 4 from the LHS. So, we will write it like 3x plus 4. This is the left hand side. And because I have to remove 4 from left hand side, I am going to subtract 4 from it. This is going to be, because we have subtracted 4 from the left hand side, we must also subtract 4 from the right hand side to keep the equation balanced. So, 19 minus 4. So, it becomes this plus 4 and minus 4 will cancel each other. So, on the left hand side, we will have 3x and on the right hand side, we have 19 minus 4 that is 15. So, our new equation is 3x is equal to 15. Now, for the second step, we need to find the value of x. On the left hand side, the variable x is multiplied by 3. To isolate x, divide both the sides by 3. So, 3x by 3 is equal to 15 by 3, right? So, this 3 and this 3 will cancel each other and 15 I can write as 5 multiplied by 3 is 15 
and at the bottom or at the denominator's place we have 3. So this 3 and this 3 will cancel each other and what we have x is equal to 5, right? So we have solved the equation. Just remember whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other side as well. That keeps the balance intact, okay? Let us take another example. 4y minus 5 is equal to 11. So on the left hand side, we have a variable y with minus 5, right? And to isolate the variable, we need to add 5 on the both sides to balance the equation. So here we have 4y minus 5 is equal to 11. I have to remove 5 from left hand side. So I am going to add 5 here on the left hand side. I am going to add 5 on the right hand side as well. Plus 5 and minus 5 will cancel each other. So we will have 4y equal to 11 plus 5, 16, right? Now to find the value of y, we are going to divide both the sides by 4. 4y by 4 is equal to 16 by 4, right? So this 4 and this 4 will cancel each other. Then we have y is equal to 16. We can write it as 4 multiplied by 4. At the denominator, we have 4. This 4 and this 4 will cancel each other. And y is equal to 4 right and this is the answer we have solved the equation so in the first equation we found that x is equal to 5 and in the second equation we found that y is equal to 4 right okay let us recap expressions have no equal sign equations have an equal sign and can be solved linear equations have only one variable and its power is 1 Always balance both sides when solving equations, right? So, hope you like this video. In my next video, we will understand how to solve an equation where variables appear on both sides, right? Thanks for watching.